Tonight, an arrest has been made in a wild shooting following a car crash in Pompano Beach. And a surveillance video just released showing that gunman on the run with his two young kids in tow. Now, it all started after that gunman collided with another car overnight. Things got heated, and Local 10's Roy Ramos tells us what happened next. That crash happening right here at this intersection. And just moments after those two cars collided with one another, one of the drivers gets out, grabs a gun, and begins shooting. Even more shocking, deputies say that gunman had two children with him at the time he pulled the trigger. Two cars with severe damage sat in the intersection. of. Well, we got one kid, one guy. Two-year-old shoots himself with his gun. And now we got this guy who's shooting at another guy with his kids. So if the guy returns fire. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Oh, Northwest shit. What the Avenue. No what the way. Hell? Yo. <laughs> nah, Yo, bullshit. that war report, boy. Nah, this bullshit. They bullshit. <laughs> right? This, this, this bullshit. <laughs> This can't be real, man. Yeah. No. no way, man. This is bullshit. Two cars with severe damage sat in the intersection of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard <laughs> and Northwest 27th Avenue God. after crashing into one another early Friday. Broward Sheriff deputies said it was just after 12 a.m. They received reports of the wreck followed by shots fired. An accident and the guy pulled the gun out, shot at me, shot the car up and took off running. When deputies arrived, a close look revealed bullet holes in one of the cars. Lafayette Howard told us he and his cousin were in this blue Ford Fusion when they were hit by a black 2015 Audi. Yeah, it looks like they got T-bone, man. Or, yeah, it looks like it was the other guy's fault. Just from the shooter, yeah. the shooter, the shooter was the one that had the kids with him. Yeah, the shooter had the kids with him. Thank and God the these shooter, guys didn't return fire. Was and the shooter T-boned him? It looks like the shooter T bone them. This is the this is the victim stuff. So was the shooter at it's not like he was at fault. Yeah. And he was mad about being at fault. He lucky he ain't have he ain't hit Marcy because Marcy would have returned fire, man. <laughs> Marcy would have killed him. <laughs> yo, yo, I but he would kill yo, I but these are two clear cases, right? Where maybe the father not being in the home would have been a good thing. <laughs> right. Yeah, we need more fathers in the home. That's why I tell you, man. That shit is not a solution either, man. More you taking a neighborhood and you're adding more black men to the neighborhood as if that's a good thing. <laughs> that's never a good thing. Yeah, they took their ass away for a reason. Right, man. It's never a good thing to add black men because they're because look, one leaves his gun around, another gets in the car accident with his kids and starts shooting up the place. Cousin were in this blue Ford Fusion when they were hit by a black 2015 Audi. Investigators said failed to yield the right of way. Howard said moments after the crash, the driver who hit him, who we have learned, is 32-year-old Ricardo Joseph, got out of his vehicle, grabbed his gun, and began shooting. And we see that he hit us, and he was like, you hit us, and somebody's going to pay. And he went to his trunk, got a gun. And when I turned around and seen he had a gun, I turned around and he fired a couple of shots. And he went over by the car and shot our car. Even more shocking, Howard said kids were in the car with him. About how old do you think the kids are? Three or four. I was able to obtain this piece of sur <laughs> Throw the whole community away, man. <laughs> to be fair, though, there's no program to babysit your kids at night, right? Where's that program? How about that? Yeah, I mean, but, but I'm saying though, like no self restraint whatsoever. Hey, yeah, kids, with you, dude. Maybe you shouldn't shoot this car up this time. Yeah, maybe but they you t-boned. Yeah, exactly. You t-boned the car, and you, I get it. You're upset, but like like we said though, with the guy at the bus, like the. the the impulse to kill is almost like the impulse to eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like an appetite. You know, when they, get, when they get in an argument or they, there's a disagreement, if they have a gun on them, that's why Marcy don't understand, man, about that constitutional care. If a son man don't have a gun on them, He's going to be mad as hell, but he really can't do anything. 
if he has a gun on him and you argue with him, it's almost a 75% chance he's going to shoot you. And, and I, it makes no, it makes no, it's no, it no sense to me to the point that I almost understand where the liberals come from when they try to rationalize it and go as far as like, oh, because of Willie Lynch, they hate each other, they hate themselves. Because it makes no sense. I, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. And it, 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 it's just, it's just, it's, and you would think that, okay, he would look up and say, for Dr. King, at least, I'm at least not going to do this on Dr. King Street. Like, there's no, like, there's no fucking, nothing could stop them, man. Like, I mean, nothing. I mean, if his kids aren't gonna, if the kids aren't gonna do it, there is literally nothing at all that would do it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Facts, man. Surveillance video from a nearby business that shows who Deputy said is Joseph leaving the scene of the crash with two small children. While he attempted to get away, it wouldn't take long for deputies to track him down and haul him off to jail. Hold on. He didn't. Your car's there with the VIN number and the license plate and everything. Some man ain't like, smart. Some man ain't <laughs> smart, man. <laughs> you just, like, they think, like, all right, if I if I, if I I get away from the scene, I win. And, and, he, probably, like, and he probably has some drugs on him, too. That's probably why he's, he's left and shit. <laughs> Yo, like, what are you talking about? Like, what does that conversation look like with your kid after that? Like, do you just watch what, turn on Netflix? Like, what do you, like, how does that look? You know, to be honest, to to be honest <laughs> you, some kids grow up with the, in, in the shit, so it's normal to them to see like shit like this. Right, I'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and wash up and get in the bed, man. So you don't have you don't have you don't explain you don't try to like process it with them. You none of that. I have no nah. idea what that looks like. Some man ain't gonna. Some man ain't gonna put the kids. Sometimes daddies do bad things, and daddy did a bad thing tonight. But you know. You have to forgive daddy sometimes. That like, he's not gonna do all that. Some man ain't doing all that. Some man just gonna be like, man, y'all go ahead and wash up, brush your teeth, and get in bed. Damn. <laughs> That's crazy. Joseph does remain in the Broward County Jail facing a number of charges that include aggravated assault with a deadly weapon to child neglect. As for those children, well, Child Protective Services is now investigating. For now, here in Pompano Beach, Roy Ramos, local. Oh, shit, man. Jeez. Christ, man.